Have you ever tried to get maximum output from massing tool inside Revit? In this video, we will go, go over some of the hacks that will surprise you how much benefit and how many things you can actually achieve with the massing tools. By the way, we recently launched a course for renovation project in Revit. This course goes through how to use Revit properly for renovation projects or any type of projects that use existing structure, terrain, or so forth. You can go in the description below and check the course details. Also, there's a coupon code that allows 30% discount for a limited time, so don't miss it. Let's jump into the tutorial and let me walk you through some of the great hacks my team and I figured out. We'll go through five massing tips and tricks that will save you tons of tons of time when it comes to complex structures, shapes, and forms by using massing tools. Let's jump into the first one. And the first one would be how to create a dome. Let's go into the massing tool right away. And I can write over here dome. And in order to create a dome real quick, we can actually draw a circle and then we can just select the circle and create a form out of that circle. In the, in the bottom side, you will see that you can create either a, you know, like a, an extrusion or a, a sphere. When you have the sphere, um, you can actually finish your, uh, your mode here. And you can go to select from the massing end side, you can select wall tool and you can pick the top surface. And let me change the consistent colors. You can see that you can actually use a sphere to build your dome and you can simply hide the sphere. The second tip will be how we can actually change the shape of that dome and that would be also quite simple by simply going into the massing again. Um, I will undo the tools, simply going into the massing and then I will go into, into the floor plan quickly here and I will create a rectangle, which will be bigger than the sphere. And that rectangle here, I will select the create a form, but in this type, I will be selecting void. I will go to my elevation uh, in 3D, and then I will simply pull, I will simply pull the bottom part of, of the surface up. And then once I am happy with the height, I can actually select the side face and cut, start cutting my sphere. I can simply do it by selecting the sphere and selecting the void. You can see that I'm actually cutting my sphere. I will be hiding quickly the wall because it's disturbing me right now and in order to see my sphere clearly. Right now I will select my sphere here and I will pull it all the way till the edge until almost there is nothing left. So once it's done, you can see that my sphere is cut. I can undo it and I can bring back my wall real quick by going to the wall tool. And then I can update the shape based on the new mass. Let's jump into tip number two, which would be how to create pointed dome. Let's go back, get back to the editing tool, and we can simply pick line the surface, top surface of, of the dome, which we can actually make a one holistic circle. Then we can simply go on to an elevation again and select the circle um, and copy it right. You can always do unconstrained and then somewhere, wherever I want. And then I will reduce the size of this a little bit more, something like that. Then I can select both of the circles with the control key on my keyboard and create a solid form this time. I can, if I am not happy with the actual height, I can play with it. Um, actual size, if I want, I have to undo and make sure that the size is correct. And then once I'm happy with it, I will just finish and I will get back to my massing inside and wall tool. Um, and then put my walls onto the new surface. I can hide my massing to see what's going on. Tip number three would be how to create double curvature surface. And that's also very quick. 
We can go, we can use one of the elevation. In this case, let's go to north. We can get back to the massing tool or just create a new massing tool. I will write double curvature here. And then what we will do is we will quickly create a, obviously I need to pick a plane. I already created grids beforehand. So I want to select the grid one that's just opposite um, direction, which I can create build on the pace. And I will just do a spline, something like that. And very complex. Obviously, if you don't, if you're not happy with the shape, simply select the point and drag, pull down. You can play with it as you want. It's not a problem. Go on the floor plan, select your spline, and copy sideways. And then now you can actually change each point the way you want up, down, up, down, and then up, up. Once we are happy with the splines, we can select all the four splines and we can create a form out of it. And then we can click finish. Once we have the form, we can simply go to messing inside and select roof and select the form and create a roof out of it. You can simply come into the massing and hide the mass and you will see the double curvature roof right there. Now I will move my roof onto the, onto the next level. So uh, I will just do, uh, obviously in this case, it was under level three assigned. So it was just random. I did not really pay attention to that. So I will just move it high up there. Tip number four would be how to create a wall that follows the roof surface. In that case, we will just go to the top view. We will create walls over here. And then we will select both walls and we will say attach to the roof. You can see that it perfectly follows the roof. And lastly, even though in the 2021 version of Revit, we can create slanted walls really easily with the wall tool right away, in the previous versions, we, did, we weren't able to do that. And one of the ways was to create the wool with the massing. And this was, again, to simply going to the massing in place. And then we select slanted wool. And then we create a line by going to the elevation. And obviously, make sure that you are selecting the right reference plane. This case, I will select one again in order to be able to draw a line. And I will just draw a line at an angle. And then I can see my line is over here. I can pick that line and create a form out of it. And then I can pull as much as I want. And simply, I finish my tool of massing. I go to massing and tools and select the wall and assign the wall on top of it. It's pretty easy, quick, and straightforward. We hope all the tips and tricks was helpful for you today. If you would like to learn how to solve some of the common problems you are facing with every day, click on this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel because every week we're going to publish a Revit tutorial for you. Don't forget to turn your notification bell on. See you next time.